dear students jj thompson's plum pudding model failed to explain many experimental observations about atom including stability later in 1911 lord rutherford a scientist from new zealand along with two more scientists as marsden and hans giger performed an experiment the famous gold foil experiment in order to find arrangement of electrons and protons in an atom in his experiment rutherford bombarded a thin sheet of gold of the order of 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 cm having almost 1000 atoms in a layer with alpha particles in an evacuated chamber so three main parts of the experiment are source of alpha particle kept in a gold con- in in a lead container with a very small opening so that alpha particles move in a straight line path second very thin gold foil third circular fluorescent screen so that every alpha particle that strikes on it would produce a spark and can be observed the full detail of his experiment are given in the next video following were his observations most of the alpha particles passed straight through the foil without deflection from their path second a small fraction of them were deflected from their original path and the third the most surprising one a few particles bounced back the observations of the, uh, rutherford's experiment were just opposite to the thomson's model and that's why it was absolutely discarded by rutherford and he gave his own hypothesis which is famous as rutherford's atomic model the main points of his model were first there is a positively charged center in an atom called nucleus second the electron revolve round the nucleus in a circular path and third the size of the nucleus is very small in comparison to size of the atom rutherford model was a big success but there was a big drawback and that that drawback was that according to principle of physics any charged object when it moves on a circular path then it get accelerated and later because of that it starts radiating energy then it lose energy so electron being a charged particle if it moves on a circular path then it will not be able to maintain the same distance from the nucleus due to losing energy it will come closer and closer to the nucleus and finally will fall back in the nucleus resulting in a structural collapse but was his uh, rutherford's uh, model absolutely failure no it was not incorrect but needed slight modification so it was niels bohr in 1913 just two years after rutherford gave his famous atomic model he proposed a theory what after studying the quantum theory that electrons do not revolve around the nucleus anywhere around the nucleus but on a definite path associated with a definite amount of energy called energy level while moving on this path or the energy levels they neither absorb energy nor lose energy and the inward force exerted by the nucleus in uh, is counterbalanced by the outward force of moving electron thus making the atom structurally stable to understand this let's have a look at this diagram suppose this is electron moving on a circular path then electron being negatively charged will experience a pull or attraction toward the positively charged nucleus as it contains protons but at the same time being a charged particle it happens that when a charged particle moves on a circular path at very high speed like electron electron moves at the speed of 1/10 of the speed of light at such a fast speed when electron is moving then it experience a force which wants to pull it outside its path this force is called centrifugal force so 
the inward force that is of the attraction of the nucleus is counterbalanced by the centrifugal force this is how the distance of and the speed of the electron is balanced in the atom that centrifugal force is just equal and opposite to the inward pull of the nucleus on the electron and thus making it stable